Yo, what, what, what up? It's Reza Pabla. This action and passion packed film is unquestionably one of the most highly anticipated Chinese blockbusters of the year. It's billed total up to more than 30 million Singapore dollars, and the script has gone through close to 1,700 modifications since its first draft was written 10 years ago. Besides boasting an impressive life size replica of Hong Kong Central District in the early 1900s, Bodyguards and Assassins also features a stellar team of renowned personalities in Chinese cinema, including Donnie Yen, Leon Lai, Tony Leung, Nicholas Si, Wang Xueqi, Hu Jun, Li Yuchun, Fan Bingbing, Eric Zeng, Simon Yum, Jackie Chung, and Michelle Reyes. Now, although the film's producer Peter Chan is known for his persuasive power, he says having to assemble such a huge team of A-listers for this movie is no easy job. Movie stars are very reluctant to work in ensemble movies because then they get compared. And, you know, what's the point? Because everyone is an individual enterprise, basically. And when they, at the cost of a movie, you know, it's not worth it for them to be compared to other actors. So it has always been a difficult task to cast more than one lead. There needs to be a lot of trust on their part to to us because we still hold the final editing right. So no matter what or how well they think they do on screen, they could be cut out. And, you know, people don't really believe that there's no favoritism. And uh, they don't know who your favorite actor is. So it's always a challenge for actors to accept roles that are ensemble you know in an ensemble movie the fact that there are so many actors and there are so many characters sometimes it's really hard to to be fair you know you can be as fair as you can but in their eyes when you look at the movie they'll say hey he's better than i am you can't go back and tell him because he acts better you know because it's still our responsibility to make everyone look as good even if they're not as good an actor and guess which of these actors are most ready or most reluctant to lend their star appeal to the movie. Leon was the first to come in. Yeah. First of all, because his role is very independent, so it's very self-contained in a way that he could actually take that role and not worry that he'll be overshadowed by anybody else because his role really doesn't concern anybody else. Who's the hardest to persuade? I would say Donnie. Donnie? Yeah. Donnie is the most cautious about his career. And first of all, to be fair, he's at the rise of his career and people are very cautious when you just hit your big break you know he just hit it with Yip Man and he's doing numerous movies this year so to him it's a consideration that he needs to be different in every single role because he's taking a lot of films this year and and he's also a very cautious person he's also a very sensitive person in a way where also a perfectionist in a way and he's not very secure with himself as an actor. He's probably very secure with himself as a martial arts actor, but as an actor, actor, he's not very secure. And he would always come back and say, "Can I look at the, you know, can I look at the the playback and, you know, can I do it again? Can I do it again?" He keeps wanting to excel himself. So that's good for us, but you know, sometimes it it takes a lot of persuasion for him to do something that is really outside the box of his capability.